Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. <laughs> Your Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield, the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? <sighs> My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. 
I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Colonel, your niece is fine. Thank goodness. We can't relax. Not yet. I know. Snake. She's quite a woman. As commander of this operation, I can't ask you to watch after Meryl, but... Duty first. Maybe I was wrong. Sending my own flesh and blood to war. She understands about duty. I know she does. But what I want to know is, what was the real purpose of this military exercise? I don't know. Like I said, I'm nothing more than a middleman. Is this transmission being monitored by the military? Of course. I get it. All the world's a stage and we're merely players, right? Yes. But even players can influence the play. I just hope we can prevent it from having a bad ending.
What happened? I'm fine. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. 